Hello, welcome to another Main Meister 10 minute mashup. Um, today's game is The Young Ones um, by Orphus Software, what they called? Copyright 1985 TSI, I can't say I've actually really heard of them, Orphus. Um, I do remember this game coming out at the time. Um, and I don't think it's a particularly good game, but there's a, a particular reason I'm actually uh, doing a mashup of this one. Um, as most people, especially if you live in the UK, will be aware, um, one of the stars, the young ones, uh, Rick Mail, uh, sadly passed away last week. Um, I think it was a, a, almost like a heart attack or something he took. Um, he was only 56 years old. Very, very sad. Um, now, for any any kid basically growing up in the early 80s, I mean, I would be, well, I mean, I would be sort of mid-teens kind of thing. Um, there was, uh, I mean, the UK, primarily the, the comedy, it was all your, your sort of, your, your kind of sitcoms and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, your two Ronnies, your little, what do you call them, little and large, cannon and ball. You know, it was very mainstream comedy. And then, uh, when the 1980s arrived, the late 70s, obviously punk music took over the UK. It really kind of blew the establishment apart. Um, and then the early 80s, this program appeared on our scenes. I think it was in Channel 4. I can't remember exactly. I'm sure it would have been um, the young ones. And it was basically a program starring. Uh, it was in a, a sort of student flat, and it, it starred a punk rocker, a, a sort of and a. a what do you call it? A socialist who was played by Rick Mail. There was a a hippie who was played by Ni Nigel Planer, and there was a Mike, the cool person. Now I can't remember Mike's uh, real name, but basically it was four guys living together, and it was just absolute pandemonium. I mean, the, there was swearing, there was violence, um, you know, there was sexual innuendos and that kind of stuff. It was just it really, really lifted the lid on comedy, and it. It just shook. It, it basically changed the face of British comedy. I mean, after that, there was tons of um, stars that followed. I mean, there was like Alexis Sale. I say there was the uh, Ed Edmondson. There was guys like uh, Hugh and Laurie. You know, the, the sort of alternative comedy. That's where it really started. I mean, it was Ben Elton that apparently sort of wrote the young ones, um, and it, it was really. It was just. It was something we had never seen. I'm sure. All the parents probably looked upon it and frowned upon it. I mean, it was terrible. But I remember as a kid watching it and then going to high school and, you know, did you see the young ones? And, you, you know, it was just absolutely awesome. But anyway, listen, I'm, I'm kind of rabbiting on a bit here, guys. I mean, this is this is a retro uh, thing. So what I thought I would do is I'd play the young ones. Now, I do know this particular game is pretty awful, but I just wanted to... Uh, let's zoom in a wee bit. I just thought it'd be quite good fun. So I haven't a clue what I'm doing here. So you can see here, I think this is me up here. I think I am playing the part of uh, Neil. If I don't switch on the chainsaw, no one else will walk to the kitchen. Oh, wait a minute, am I? I'm trying to figure out here, am I? Who am I controlling? You can see there the music's pretty, pretty mental. Walk, living room. Ah, play the party, Vivian. Punk rocker, block down here. He was played. He was played by uh, Adrian Edmondson. And this is that say Neil at the top. You can see Neil. He's uh, the happy. I mean, even you know references. Action Walkman. Now, who knows what a Walkman is? Walkman was one of the first portable uh, tape players. Now, you probably, if, if you're under the age of 25, you may not even know what a tape is. <laughs> so, I'm not going to bore you with this, you can Google it. Video recorder. My goodness, you're all used to your, uh, your video TV on demand and your Sky Plus box. Back in the 80s, it was video recorders. They used big clunky tapes. Um, you had to set it, you had to have a degree in electronics to be able to know how to set it and uh, it could only take one programme and then the quality was usually shite so anyway let's let's go and pick up the, the Walkman switch on right, have I picked it up 
talk. I've got a terrible hangover and all I can hear is smash the video recorder. So let's see if we can we smash it. Video recorder, let's smash it. <laughs> you can see he's now smashed the video recorder. Now I'm sure... Ah, you know what it is? You can... Uh, at the start of the game you get to pick what character you want to be. Hey guys, Rick has picked up the toilet. Whatever it is. Action. Telephone. Let's phone this number. Hello, is that you, Vivian? Up you is ugly. <laughs> yeah, I mean this game is pretty pretty piss poor, but you know what? Uh, anyway, yeah, I was I was kind of waffling. Um, I mean this. I'll be, I'll be perfectly honest with you, I was watching uh, Lone Boy's post 1975 and he basically put out quite a heartfelt video regarding the passing of uh, Rick Mayo. And I must admit, when I heard that Rick had died, I was really deeply saddened. I mean, uh, you know, as I say, these guys, they made this, uh, they made this comedy that was just... It was just way ahead of its time. It changed the face of comedy. It was brilliant, you know. It was totally unlike anything we'd seen. In fact, before I made this video, I've actually just watched the. Uh, I watched two episodes of Bottom, which was a, a three-series uh, program. It was Ed Edmondson and Rick Mail, and uh, basically again, it was similar to kind of the young ones. It was two guys living together in a flat, um, and it was basically about their quest to try and get shagged. Um, they'd never had sex with anybody, so the whole the whole kind of basis of the program is trying to get shagged and get money. I mean, their house is an absolute tip. Um, it's on Netflix, so if you if you're a subscriber to Netflix, make a point of watching it. I mean, I was sitting downstairs watching it, and I was absolutely pissing myself laughing. Uh, you know, the humour is just brilliant, absolutely fantastic. So yeah, this was why I'm playing this. I say the game itself is pretty poor, unlike the the, the TV programs. So yeah, it's a kind of adventure type thing, so let's see what's there, there's a hammer, is that an axe? Let's walk to the axe, pick up the axe, okay, then let's walk under the stairs with the axe, action, let's, no we don't want to put down the axe, how do we get back, oh, yeah, I've, just put the axe, I've just put the axe down. Blowtorch, let's pick up the blowtorch. So I think it's basically... I've got a terrible hangover and all I can hear is pick up the rucksack. Alright, ah, okay, so... Action, so I shall put down the blowtorch. Oops. Rucksack, pick up. Right, pick that up. Talk. To make it interesting, I'll open the rucksack. Okay, so action. Rucksack. Open. Talk. Does he want to talk? To make it interesting, I'll close the rucksack. Right, okay. Rucksack close. That wasn't very exciting. Suddenly, I have the most incredible urge to pick up the ther right, there's Mike, the cool person. Ah, oh, bugger, he wants to pick up the thermos flask. Let's try and beat him to it. Right, I don't know if when they talk, if it's just utter nonsense. Oops. Yeah, the game, <laughs> the game's pretty shit, it has to be said. I don't really know what the point of the game was. Um, but uh, yeah, if, you're, if you've never seen, if you're under 30 and you've never seen Bottom or The Young Ones, make a point. Um, I'm actually going to order myself the DVD. I mean, I've seen The, I've seen the Young Ones umpteen times. Um, I used to have it on videotape, but I'm actually going to... Uh, order it on Amazon, in fact I tried to order it today, there's a three disc box set, there was only two series, 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 series came out, uh, one and two, and there's a third disc, 
with uh, some extra stuff in it. But I noticed the Amazon are actually all out. So uh, it's obviously, I'm guessing, I'm guessing with the passing of uh, Rick Mail, it's probably boosted sales. So I might take a walk down to HMV later on and see if I can pick it up. Right. Right, I can only. Right, I'm guessing I have to do something here. Right, come on, what do you want me to do, Vivian? You need to tell me. I'll open the blowtorch. Action. Open. How do you open the blowtorch? Well, that's a lot of rubbish. Close the blowtorch. That's just nonsense. Yeah, it's pretty, a pretty god awful game, but anyway. Right, you know what, I've had enough. <laughs> it's pretty damned awful. Um, and it's certainly not a, a, the best legacy for these guys because I says the, the, the actual programs are absolutely awesome. Make a point of watching them. Uh, so anyway, listen guys, that's uh, 10 minutes. Uh, this is uh, this is the young ones on uh, Commodore 64 by Office Software. Wasn't familiar with them. Um, as usual guys, uh, thanks for watching.